Hello everybody and welcome along to another stream of the Williams career. Today will be our final big upgrade of the season. Uh, just our final upgrade of the season. Providing the all successful, this is it. We're only just over halfway through the season. It's going to be the Belgium Grand Prix round spa today. But, well, that's it. There's no more we can do. We've literally hit the ceiling. But we need it because although we're doing well right now, Ferrari are catching us. So hopefully we can pull a bit of a gap to them, which will hopefully make us continue on and uh, enable us to stay in championship contention and win, win the title. I struggle for words there, but let's get into it. So that's the previous season results then, guys. As you can see, lots and lots of wins for us. Honestly, though, that table doesn't tell the full story. Like, we've had a genuinely competitive and and great season it's been every race has been really close and dramatic it's been really good i've really enjoyed it 43 points in the lead of albon which is nice but as i said we've got the last big upgrade package going on today and then one two three four five six races after that no upgrades planned but uh there's the constructor standing as well we're leading that very comfortably 131 points over ferrari for now though, guys let's get some time looks like we've got that ultimate weight redistribution first keep our fingers crossed for that one being successful three days time come on i want to see some green can't remember for russia or not don't think I did. Beautiful. On it goes. On it goes. Okay. We are going to buy the major brake upgrade. Hopefully, not only is it successful, but also hopefully it doesn't break the car and make the brakes unusable. We'll go straight to roll dampers. Come on. Green. 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 Oh. Hopefully that can still go on the car in time. That's the tire wear. It can just. Just. We still get the tire on. And again, we don't need those resource points anymore. So that's perfect. We literally don't need them. There's nothing else, there's nothing else to buy. So we'll do that. Three more days then, guys, for this rush brake upgrade as well. Humidity, that's successful, right? Is this rush? Oh, the rush one was successful. We're getting everything on today. We're getting everything. Nothing's gonna fail on us. Beautiful. That's literally it. We've, we've, we've bought, we've bought all of the upgrades we possibly can. The only way to unlock more upgrades now will be if the team buys some spec three parts, which they're not gonna do. They're not gonna save up spec threes in my team are normally what are they? Something like ten million each or something. I can't really remember. And the spec twos are normally sort of like. 3 million each. They're not going to save up 3 spec 2s and buy 1 spec 3. Although that's what I'd do to unlock more upgrades. They're not going to do that. They're going to they're fill in the gaps of the spec 2. So that will be it now for, for the season and for the game and for the series. But we know more upgrades. There we go. Okay. Bit of rain, but none in the sessions that matter. Full forecast. No, it should be okay from rain. Might rain a little bit at the end of quality, possibly, but it's not forecast to. Now, these big upgrades. Oh! That's Okay. I mean, I have had a bigger upgrade than the field, but not by much. Look at the size of those upgrades. Look at McLaren's upgrade. Only Haas have not brought any upgrades. Everyone else has bought quite a few. McLaren bought a ginormous one. Remember, we, we bought... What did we bring? Is it, does it list it somewhere? Three fairly significant upgrades, one of which was Ultimate. And we ha we not even got the biggest upgrade package in the field. And remember, guys, that's it. We've peaked. That line will, will, will remain flat for the rest of the season. We can do no more. Give it another two races and we won't be the fastest car in F1 anymore. Oh, good. It was sort of walk up. Yeah, 10 minutes. It's going to rain. This first run is crucial. Yeah, really, really glad that this is the, the session that I've got car issues. Now, so Come on. Hope we do traffic on the exit. I think we're okay. Right. This is an important lap. Instantly bottled it. Just haven't had the practice. Pressure's on. We'll keep pushing because we should be able to do two laps in a row. I thought with that ERS system to the rain doesn't come. Deep again. I'm just trying to break a bit later. Just don't disallow the lap, Alex. This might be your only chance, maybe. Two on six, my teammate. That'll be a bit more representative then of a pole time. Anyway, let's just go show this for now. A bit deep in there, right? Let's we go again. Oh, I might get some traffic here, but we go again. Oh dear. The TV's not going to let me go. Or is he? Just did a bit of slipstream. Okay, the car in front won't let me go either. I've just got to hope. Two tenths up already, though, guys. We're eight tenths down on pole. Oh, dear. Uh, some rain soon. Expect the first drops in the next few minutes. Just the Martin can get out of the way anyway. Doesn't even matter. Oh, a bit deep. Tried to go on power to make up for it, but didn't really manage it. We're losing time all the time. No. The worst corner job of snapping. Yes, still asked to get away in the end, which is something. I think tyres are gone. It didn't, didn't feel like a worse lap. We only found a tenth. This could be disastrous. I mean, there was a few more tenths in it, but I'm a second from pole. So, honestly, half a second would have given me P7, which would have been a lot better result than this. Don't go, oh, look how wet it is. There's no way. Oh, dear. Well, I just went out there just because I may as well. But it's going to be 16th on the grid for me, guys. The rain came 
just late enough that most AI got a lap in. Perez was the only one that got caught out by it, but just early enough that meant that I just didn't have time to kind of get used to the car and, and nail a lap. But to be honest, I think even if I nailed a lap, I'm a second from pole. I reckon I can allow, but I found about another half a second, but that was still first P7, which still isn't great. And we're still half a second from pole. So AI is going to go down two clicks. 16. The weather just compounded it. Oh dear, guys. AI were too high, sure. Weather compromised us as well. We also didn't get a good lap in. All three of those factors combined, not good. I think with 103 AI, that lap would have put us probably 11th-ish, somewhere around there. Bit better. Without the rain, probably could have found another half a second. Then that puts us right in the front. Oh dear. Those tyres also wore more quickly than I expected. The, 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 the used tyres I took off were 8 tenths slower than the new set. A bit wild. And we are going to take all those new engines in, guys. We may as well if we're starting this far back. Make a full new set of everything. We did probably need to take some penalties at some point anyway. It's not disastrously bad. Right, strategy-wise, it's probably just going medium hard, to be honest. He doesn't think we can make medium soft work. Oh, we're already one lap away from it. So generally speaking, that's the better strat. Fuel-wise, as you said, I think Spa's a bit, a bit marginal. So I won't take out a crazy amount of fuel. We'll start with 2.8 laps spare of fuel. Everyone else on. Everybody on mediums, of course. Very good. Got it, guys. Same tyres as everybody else. Let's see what we can do. Uh, the Alfa Romeo's gone round. Nope. It's time right anyway. Right, come on. Same tyres as all the AI. On the back of the grid with a new engine. Need a good start. That's a bit daily start. Lots of wheel spin. Okay, they're all going hard to left. So I'll go up the inside. Whoa, Latifi's coming with me. Nice. Hold it tight. Still have some caught up the exit, Banter. Okay, let them go. Let them go. Let them cook. Didn't really want to be burning ERS there. Just to be side by side through Rouge. Oh, we're we'll getting it now. Big lift from Schwartzman. Should be the flyers outside here. We've got better straight line speed. See you later, Schwartzman. Can we get Verstappen as well, possibly? Nah, I think it's a bit too far, to be honest. Break super early. I was wary of him turning on me, but he didn't. Try and hook on the outside here. Beautiful. Right up to 40. That's not a bad start at all. Nice and clean. Course where I needed to be. Oh, side by side. They're three wide in front. Oh, could allow us to sleep on the outside of a... I was going to say a couple. Just one. Oh, no. I've lost it. I've lost it. Fair play to walk on. He held that well. Thought I was going to get that done. Again, they're so slow in front. It's battling. Stop battling, guys. We're all loose time to the leaders here. Oh, Ocon giving me no room. Just managed to back out, though. Don't think we've got any damage from that. Ocon's really fighting this one hard. He's really fighting this one hard, but we're going to hold it this time. Move down up to 13th. Hopefully, we can start to make some positions. Here we go. Look at this. Look at these gains. Look at these gains. Possibly even too early. Oh. Oh, it's going to be inside, but I can't. Oh. Sneak up the inside. Being cheeky. Didn't quite work out for me, but I'll get the inside of Salona here. Not the most efficient way to make an overtake there, but we got it done eventually. Up to P12 now, making reasonable progress through the field. There's not much field spread, actually, despite all that battling. Oh, we should be in a nail stroll nice and easily, but clearly be a rest. See you later, stroll. In a bit. Lots of arrests just to get past him cleanly, so I don't have to be side by side with him. Up to P11 then. Might be to get fast up on this lap as well. Potentially had a bit of a gap. Don't even need the ERS. Oh yeah. They must be lifting through there. Didn't go outside, didn't really have a choice. Small luck up there as I hit the bump, but we get it done. Nicely by the outside up to P10 into the point to pay positions. On lap two. Beautiful. And it is a fast lap of the race. That's encouraging. Just stick closely to them. We just need to keep making moving forward through the through the pack. We don't want to be losing too much time to the leaders. That's my priority right now with the fastest car. Oh, I love it. It's just it makes the game so much easier. Oh, he's gone. Whoa, that was weird. Yeah, I don't know if we go wide like that. Get plenty of room. No amount of opportunities back at me there. That was not an efficient way to make that overtake. Go, let me go, let me go. Ah! Try and get the exit. Yeah, nice, that'll do. That'll do. Made. Are they all make mistakes in here? Yeah, they all look. They take a bit of a weird line into there. This is a bit slow. Oh, yellow flag. Behind. I assume that's someone retiring. Yeah, it's a Red Bull retiring. It's Perez retiring. I don't know if I want a safety car. He's going quite well for me right now. A little bit fast for a Rouge. We'll be able to get Magnussen for sure. 
Hamilton doesn't get DRS. Can we nail both? Box Magnus in. It. Can we nail both? Whoa, Hamilton coming over late there. We flew past him though, like he was stood still. That felt rude. That must be what it's like to drive a Red Bull in the year 2023. State of this straight line speed we had over him. Absolute rocket ship. I got to 357k. Meanwhile, Hamilton was doing 317. 40 kilometers an hour. 40. 40 quicker. Right, he's going to be OS here to get us in DRS range. Should be easy. That absolute rocket ship in a straight. Oh, man. Look at it. Look at the lap time just falling away. Can we do the same thing on Russell as we did on his teammate? Or is he going to get DRS? Are we too far from George Russell? George Russell hasn't got DRS. Can we do it again? The same as he did to his teammate. Surely not. Surely not. We're doing the exact same thing. That's just rude. It's just rude. Two laps in a row. Two double overtakes in a row on the same team. Mercedes are scratching their heads back at base going, we need some better straight line speed. What is that, Williams? What is that, Williams? Come on, let's keep going. Let's keep going. The leader's about four and a half seconds away. So we've got a chunk of time to make up still in this race. Oh, a bit of contact there. It's locked up, went a little bit deep. Bit of wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact. I think we get away with that one. We get a warning. That's honestly fair enough. That was that was a bit wild. That was took a bit too much of a risk there. It's because he was, I don't know, he was holding me to the inside. Where am I going? Where am I going? He was holding me to the inside. So I decided, you know what? Yes, I want a piece of this. I want to. I want to do an actual send. I don't just want to just want to fly past everyone in the straights. I want to do an actual send. So I went for it, and it almost went wrong. Thankfully, we get away with it. We're a bit closer to Norris than we were Hamilton. And Norris is slow in a straight. We can probably do it again. We can do it again, I think, maybe. I don't really want to stop Alvin getting the move done, though. I can help it. Oh! Uh... Oh, baby! Through the middle! No! How did that one lose out? That was hairy as hell, man. I've just gone for that. I'm enjoying this too much. Oh! That one breaks late. What happens? He's around the outside, but he's got mega straight line speed. Can't even see signs. I just backed off massively. I actually don't know what my laptop is relative to the, to the AI. Yes, we've got the fastest lap, but that'll be DRS affected. So let's just keep an eye here on the relative lap time between me and Leclerc to get an actual not DRS affected lap time difference. And the other thing is I'm burning my ERS now. It's gone down quite a bit. Oh, I just about got him out of it. We just about got him out of it. Go on, Albon. Nail him. Get up to P2, buddy. So this, this lap will finally get a measure of our actual lap time difference to the quickest AI. Oh, God. Without being affected by DRS. 45.6. Okay, I was still three cents quicker that last lap than, than Leclerc. And my teammate's box. Okay. Well, he's got a bit of clear air, actually. There's a McLaren, but no, he's okay. He's going to have some clear air, so he's going to undercut me. Okay, obviously, I've gone hard as well. Morris and Alondo side by side. That is going to help my teammate to catch back up. I'm not sure why he lost time in the pit lane. That uh, pit stop, maybe. And they're right. Getting to pit lane now. Pitting this lap, then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Don't get a silly penalty here. A bit calm. Nice and early. Nice and early. So he's going to undercut us. Tyres were fairly worn, actually. Bring it in now. They're on the new hards. Let's copy their strategy. Didn't need to do anything wild with our strong pace in the first half of this race. Maybe we've got a bit of traffic in the end. That was a fantastic stop. Faster than we were all over Norris. Surely he can nail him. There goes the clerk in the first corner. We'll actually see him here. There he is. Didn't even anything he lost time to be actually. I feel better now as well. Much grippier. My teammate all over Albon. Sorry, all over Norris. Come on, Albon. It's just all in the straights. It's all in the straights. Look, we, we haven't gained anything at all in the middle sector. I'm not even using any ERS down this straight. What is it? I don't even know what we're gaining. It's up to half a second down this one straight. Because I, I seem to be roughly similar in this middle sector. Then just way quicker down the straights. I think they're a touch quicker in the middle sector, but not a lot. Yeah, there's, there's clearly just a massive delta at this track. Oh, someone's had a whoopsie. The Haas is pulling over. Mixture Mac, is that going to be a safety car? Rather, there wasn't one. Race feels like it's relatively in hand right now on the clerk. The other thing, of course, we have got a brand new engine. It's not impossible this engine fails on us, so <laughs> keep our fingers crossed. It wouldn't be the first time it's failed on us. I'll run away to a win. Oh, my teammate finally got past uh, Norris, by the way. Let's see if we can just pull away now. We're very quick in a straight, so. Oh, where are we off to? McLaren isn't. There's a bit of an inevitability about this, isn't there? Similar to when Red Bull are racing in real life. You just feel there's a bit of an inevitability about it. That one's still leading Norris. We don't even need DRS. Look at it. The state of it. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you never. We take the lead. As I said, there's a bit of inevitability about it with this car. And set up. Oh, a little bit deep in there. But we'll try and go get fast slapped out. 
Goodbye, Leclerc. Every straight, it's just goodbye. Every single straight. In fact, maybe it's more Mercedes 2014 vibes than Red Bull vibes. Because Red Bulls, well, they are quick in a straight for the amount of downforce they produce. It's, a lot of it's DRS, of course. Makes their overtake easy. It's just by straight up straight line speed, isn't it, in this one? Albon just went three tenths quicker than Leclerc for his first no traffic, no DRS lap. Three tenths. The, the way to look at it is swings and roundabouts. And it's the same if you're a casual player. Let's say you lock the AI difficulty to 80 or I don't know. It doesn't matter the number. And that's what you use all season. Some races should be better, some races should be worse. Two very boring minutes later. There, but anyway, guys, coming through the final chicane for the last time. It has been much easier than it otherwise should have been. It's been a dominant race despite starting at the back. We take it. We take it. AI too low. We'll put the asterisks in there straight away. But, you know, I, I try every race to get it right. It's not always right. It's not always right. It swings around about other races that will be too high. It is what it is. We have got the best car in the grid. It's not like we've got, you know, the fifth best car. We just want to race. That result isn't entirely unexpected. I think probably probably 105 AI was right for that race, which is weird because it was so wrong for quali. It was so wrong in quality, but probably 105 would have been right. And even then, we could have got, I reckon, at least a podium there. We would have had to work harder for it. It would have been a more interesting episode. But I think we still could have got the win even on 105. So it's not a ridiculously crazy result. And we'll get P3 as well, which is lovely. I also get fast up, of course, by about 8 tenths of those guys. But that was because of DRS and DRS usage. So there you go. Still winning his 1-2. We now lead by 54 points. We just gained 11 points over Alex Albon. And uh, we gained 8 points over Charles Leclerc. So very reasonable. 63-point gap now to the newest non-Williams. 54-point gap to Albon. We've now got a two-race lead in the Drivers' Championship. Constructors as well. Very lovely, very lovely race for Constructors. 148 points we now lead that by. We've now got a almost a four-race lead, I think, in, in the Constructors. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Apologies, the AI was a little bit low, but uh, it is what it is sometimes. As I said, it swings and roundabouts. Other episodes, they'll be a bit too high. So, Italian Grand Prix next time. That will tell us whether we really are dominant in this straight. But well, it was all set up today.